Hey, it's Chase from On The Table Gaming, and today we're going to talk about game mats and why you should consider getting one to play your Song of Ice and Fire miniatures game on. As any of you just starting out into the hobby have realized, when you play the game on your kitchen table, um, it's still just as fun, just as effective, um, but there's something special about playing on a really nice mat. And there's a lot of options out there. In fact, A Song of Ice and Fire, the miniatures game, has their own custom mats you can get. But I'm gonna suggest that today you consider something different. I want you to think about, is your mat fat? Yes, I mean fat, F-A-T, not P-H-A-T. Uh, despite uh, being quite the cool kid in my youth, uh, I never was able to really pull off that the fat, P-H-A-T, if, uh, if that's even still a thing. Um, no, I'm talking about the frontline gaming mats, and I'm going to show you an example of one I have, and why I think you should try and get something of equivalent quality. So the frontline gaming mat oh, looks something like this. Uh, this is a 4x4, four four, which leaves me just enough room to play the game on it, and if I got a table big enough, I can put my miniatures on the side. Now this one in particular, if I can find the right corner, is the the War Machine mat, uh, coming from a War Machine Hordes background. Um, I've got one of these kicking around, and you know what, it does just fine for a Song of Ice and Fire as a miniature game. Now, what's really important to note is it's made out of this weird sort of mouse pad material, and it's actually quite thick. And what's awesome about this is that you can store it, and I typically roll mine up and put it back in the case, but you can store it without it getting wrinkles. And when you have an, a much smaller, lighter weight mat, sure, you're gonna be saving a couple of ounces, maybe a pound at most, although I don't really know if this would even be a pound in weight, maybe. Um, when you have a much thinner mat, it's gonna actually hold those wrinkles more, and when you wanna play and you roll it on the table, it's gonna take away from the beauty of the game. So a mat like this, nice and heavy, is gonna lay flat no matter how long you've been storing it in sort of an awkward position. You know, those things happen sometimes. Uh, you put your bag in a closet and something leans on it, and you go to take it out and you realize your whole mat looks strange. This is actually thick enough that that's not a problem. And it's really durable, it's gonna last a long time. It's way more durable than anything else you're gonna have in the hobby, certainly your miniatures. And uh, I really suggest you going and splurging, spending a little bit of money to make sure that you're always playing on a beautiful setup with your beautifully painted models. Uh, but certainly, regardless of whether you end up playing on your living room floor, on the kitchen table, um, whether you decide to go and buy a frontline gaming mat, it doesn't really matter as long as you're having fun, and I just hope that you get your miniatures on the table. Thank you.